Hello everybody and welcome to the blind let's play of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So yeah, this is a game that I have been kind of itching to play because I have actually played the online RPG, the MMO RPG, um, the Old Republic because well, most because my friends played it. Though I didn't play it all that much in the end. I just, I mean, a moderate amount of time, a couple of hundred hours, you know, nothing too big. Um, and I've been quite a big of fa big fan of Star Wars, even though I do have quite a lot of gripes with it, and most of my enthusiasm for it comes to the for the extended universe. And but I have played a lot of their games, and I have quite enjoyed them. And I still have Star Wars Battlefront 2 in installed on my computer because I freaking love that game. But I have heard about this game, of course, um, and well, it would be hard to avoid knowing about it. But I have not actually even played it. I think I know what the, it looks like, the UI, generally. But that's a maybe. I might not even know that, so... That's a thing. It'll be interesting to see how this goes, then. Um, yeah. I, I'm quite certain it's an RPG, though, so... Yeah. But that's basically the limit of my knowledge. It's going to be rather interesting to see how much this can grasp my attention because I've been recently playing, well I have always played a lot of RPG, RPGs so I'm a quite critical of my favorite genre so yeah and of course it, it's Star Wars which is not irrelevant even if, but though it only plays a minor part in my enjoyment of it so let's get on with the game so, unfortunately the game doesn't actually completely fit the screen, but whatever, it's fine enough as it is. Ah, so we'll choose the class. Uh, soldier, Scout and Scoundrel. Um, Rogue, Stephen Gill, Explorer. Well... This is an interesting choice. I think I'm gonna go with Scout, because... I don't know. Exploration seems a bit more interesting, so... That seems like a fun little choice there. Uh... Oh my goodness. I should have probably done this beforehand, but I had no idea that there's a character creation. Well, then we're gonna go with custom character. Um, we're just gonna go with those. That's just fine enough, so... Um, yeah, that that's fine enough. Then attributes. Oh, it's like a D&D &D system. That's actually kind of convenient. Well, in that case... Oh, it's Jedi powers. Well, I have a clear idea of what I want to do, so... Oh, there's a lot of points that can be used. And it used the same kind of point by system as in general D&D, which is actually kind of convenient, considering that that's the, you know, the system that I am quite uh, quite quite comfortable with, so um, yeah, that that's gonna be fine yeah, that that's good skills yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, it's <laughs> god, it's so freaking close to <laughs> I had no idea that it actually is like DND in this regard, like really freaking close. That's actually rather fortunate, I must say. Oh, and oh, and, okay. That, well, let's see, computer use seems really. Actually, that I'll just put one point just in case. Awareness, persuasion seems rather important, repair as well. Oh my goodness, I should have thought about this beforehand, but you you know I didn't I made no did no research before go, going into the game, so um I want to have at least one point in every skill. And then awareness and computer use seems to be the ones that I want to go for. Actually let's put one more into the treat injury, so yeah. Uh, this hopefully for oh my goodness it is just so much man I love uh, love me some good RPGs so okay those are alrighty flurry 
Okay, I have one more feat that I can take. Heavy armor? Nah. Do weapon fighting? Nah, I don't think that's a good idea. Caution. That could be actually useful. Oh, doubles the critical. Oh, that seems... So, I really do love building crit builds because they are just so ridiculously OP in most editions of D&D. So, that might be something I want to go for. But, let me just check the full list here, just in case. Those are guys more level. Just a lot of these. Bones to saving throws. Um, power attack. Ooh, that's... Uh, nah, just probably... It, it's most likely gonna be just that. Um, most likely it's going to be the... Critic oh, that's for ranged attacks. Ooh. Okay. Actually, that sniper shot... That sniper shot actually seems... Something I want to use. I think I'm gonna go with, with more of a ranged type of build, so yeah. Heavy weapons. Uh, nah, not yet. Toughness is more high HP as it should be. Due oh, okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go with the snipe, sniper shot. That seems a bit more interesting or more aligned to what I wanna do, so. The power blast. Yeah. But yeah, that seems fine enough. Name. Uh, what a uh, the, uh, shab. <laughs> uh, draw. That seems fine enough. I don't honestly care that much. But then let's, let's go. Let's get on with the game itself. Actual character creation. It's been a while since I've actually played a traditionally D&D based RPG system. So I love that. It just brings good memories. Now we won't be skipping the cutscenes either, but I'll be trying to be. I'm gonna try to be quiet unless I have something to say. I probably have to read this, huh? And I saw the old Republic. Four thousand years before the rise of the Galactic Empire of the Republic verges on collapse. Darth Malak, last surviving apprentice of the Dark Lord Revan, has unleashed an invincible Sith armada upon an unsuspecting galaxy. Crushing all resistance, Malak's war of conquest has left the Jedi Order scattered and vulnerable as countless knights fall in battle and many more swear allegiance to the new Sith Master. In the skies above Outer Rim world of Taris, a Jedi battle fleet engages the forces of Darth Malak in a desperate effort to halt the Sith's galactic domination. Dot, dot, dot. Alrighty, that's a pretty bog standard setup for a, dark, uh, for a Star Wars game, I must say, but it's fine enough. Oh, and that nostalgic music. You can quite clearly see where the recording lines are, huh? It's impressive enough of an FMP. That, well, it is a, s <laughs> a good old time space flight, space battle. Alright. by a Sith battle fleet. The okay. Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Oh, so we might be actually a... We might actually be a Jedi from the very outset, or get a melee weapon from the very outset of the game. Uh, poor, yeah. I'm Trask Olgo, Ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. 
We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up. We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. Okay. <laughs> Who's Bastila? is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I okay. heard what everyone's saying about you. You've explored the farthest reaches of the galaxy. You've visited planets I've never even heard of. People with your skills and abilities are hard to find. It's no wonder the Republic recruited you for this mission. But now's the time to prove yourself. I know you're a scout and not a soldier. The Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. Uh, okay, let's go help Bastila. So hurry up and grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay. No, we're just freaking bunk naked. Where is my stuff? You can move the mouth to move towards the foot. You can left click and enough. <laughs> okay. You can move them to move. You can left. Can take a bit of work to get used to the controls, but whatever. Self fuel generate. Oh. There's a lot of stuff. Stealth field generator, okay. Okay. Hmm. Cardio package. Okay. Oh, um, equip. Well, what a... Well, let's take a blaster in that hand and a short sword in that hand. Actually, we can't do that. Okay. Implant cardio package. Okay. Okay. Hmm. okay. Alrighty, that seems fine enough. We're just gonna focus a bit more on the ranged combat style, so... Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with a party than on your own. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna be fine. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. <laughs> You'll have to use me. <laughs> okay. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. <laughs> okay. I'm here. Oh, that's a pause button. Okay. This is Cardinal Nassi. The Sith are threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge! That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicator. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat than the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. Alrighty. Also, allow me to do a little thing here because I think my face is a bit too big. Now it should be just fine. Maybe. Goodbye. No, that's that's gonna be fine enough. Let's move out. Yeah, I know already how to use the journal. Actually, let me see all that I have here. No. Total rank is three. All right, this. Okay. I'm just gonna make sure that I know. Okay, that's the map options. Yeah, okay, okay. Think I know enough to make this work. 
I mean, it's like most games work in a very similar manner, so let's just how things go, you know. Oh, wait. Right. Utility droid. Oh. Oh, you poor little bit thing. On it. Oh, right. I, I can use. Okay, let's see if we can do this to be more big guy. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic! <laughs> when you sight an enemy. Okay. Also, I am going to put the sounds a bit quieter because just. I feel like that was a bit too quiet. Uh, a bit too loud, so. But that should be just fine. Hopefully, I don't know. Okay, that's just putting in actions there. What? Power blast, yeah. Okay, okay. Behind the sense combat draws. Okay. I'm gonna just blast up. Good. Get items. Nothing there, okay. There's probably nothing here either, but it doesn't hurt to check. Okay. Yeah, that's completely busted. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. Well, that's going surprisingly well. I mean, it's a tutorial level, so. It's a rather simplistic system, though, so that's kind of. Well, we got swords. There's a whole bunch of swords. What? And a combat suit. Oh, that's good. Did we get everything? Okay. In that case, can we actually equip that combat suit? think so. Good, good. Ah, metal, tiny metal boxes! Okay, so we have a med pack. Oh, we do, actually. I think we regain health quite quickly. No, we don't. Okay. I wonder how their health regeneration works in this game, though. Hmm. I should have maybe paid attention on how to use med packs in combat. But I suppose I'll learn that all in due time, so... It's some frag grenades. Not very elegant. I do say that. <coughs> okay. Adrenal alacrity. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Okay. Heal 10 plus... Wisdom, so that's pretty good that I specked out in that then. Maybe. Okay, friendly fire much. Oh, I do wonder. Oh, that's. Okay. So that's actually a pretty good way to actually assign those there. I wonder if how you assign like other things from here to that quick bar. Well, Oh, oh, we, that's convenient. That's a pretty good way to do that, I must say. 
Okay. Actually, we could have just thrown a grenade, but I'd rather spare them, so... And then we'll just toss a few of them in there, actually. Okay. That is a significant amount of damage. Alright, that went quite well. And of course, loot. Oh, shoot. Now Okay, good, good, good. That's going quite well, I must say. Uh, adhesive grenade. I want to see what's the difference with that. It's probably a, like a sticky grenade or something, but we'll see. Adhesive. Oh, it's just a freaking slime ball. Okay, that's not honestly all that useful. Maybe. It depends on the enemy types, though. Okay, med pack. And yes, of course, loot freaking everything. More grenades. Parts fucked up. Okay. Hmm. Can we actually end. Hmm. Oh, solo mode. Oh, bother. Okay. It's a dark Jedi. This light is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. Really? I mean, we could assist there, but okay, fine enough. Ah! Both dead. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Damn, we could have used her help. Okay. Actually, no, don't do that. I'm here. Also, we just took a boatload of damage. Okay. Hmm? I really do hope that we'll get someone to tank for us properly. Okay. Vibration zone. Okay. What is that? Melee upgrade. Okay. Okay, so that's just used for repairing. Okay. Don't know whether this is the most organic tutorial you could just have. Beyond that door. You better equip your melee weapon. There isn't much room on the bridge, and it's suicide to use a blaster in close quarters. Don't you, you tell me what to do. Too. Either that, or I'll have to stay back and use my blaster. Okay. Well, how about we do this? You use a melee weapon and I stick to the long range because screw you, you filthy man. Okay. Yeah, that seems just fine. But since we don't actually specialize in. Let me check my stats actually. No, her, his stats actually. Yeah, he has far better for melee combat than I do, so it's better to put him in the front lines than me, so yeah. You go first, you little bugger. We'll be fighting in close quarters on the bridge. No. Come on. 
That's a bit of a bummer. And we can't actually do a wield, so because we didn't take that skill. I'm here. Okay. Master was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The ship won't pass till all lies. But once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar Spire into galactic dust. Okay. I was hoping I could loot there, but fine enough. Oh, backpack. Is there something useful here, please? That bastard. Fine. Oh, and apparently we have a level up, so. Level up. Uh, more skills. Okay. Uh, I do think persuasion will be something that I want to do, but repair and repair seems really useful. Um, that's a cross class skill, unfortunately. That's going to be useful. I do want to recover as many mines as possible. Yeah, that's gonna be fine enough. Feet. We already got another feet. That's pretty useful, I must say. Uh, empathy. Well, maybe. Hmm. Power blast? Nah. Um. Actually, I'm gonna do take the tough, take toughness because I'd rather not die, you know. Okay. Oh, it. Well, that's a bugger. I hope there wasn't any wasn't anything really behind the door that I could have used. Okay. Let's go. Oh, right. Oh, I mean, we already. Okay, so I didn't even pay attention to where on the map we were, so... Nothing? Nada. Zilch. Zippo. Shit. Okay. A really linear map, though. <laughs> Pretty useful for tutorial, I suppose, but... Something behind here. He is gonna die, isn't he? Damn, another Dark Shit. Jedi! I'll try to hold him off! You get to the escape pods! Go! <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna end well. Okay. Escape bots. Yeah. Okay. This is Carthel Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support system. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. No, I can't wait for you much longer. You have to get to the escape pod. Okay. Hey, Jim, this is a Sith patrol just down the corner. Use your stealth skill to sneak past it. You key. Oh, that's the pause button. Okay. Shoot. Okay, fine. Just freaking murder you. Oh well. That's surprisingly unaffected damage, I must say. But it's a pretty exciting way to start the game, at the very least. So that's a good point. To start with an escape from the ship. Pretty reminiscent of actually from, you know, episode 1, but yeah. Fine, we'll just freaking. Yeah. Be careful. There's a whole squad of Sith troopers on the other side of that door. You need to find some way to thin their numbers. You well, could reprogram the damage minutes. assault droid to help you if you have enough repair parts. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems against the Sith. Or I could do all of the above. Or use grenades as well. 
This is a pretty good tutorial, I must say. Computer spikes in parts. Okay. Uh, droid repair tutorial. Okay. Yeah, reactivate the droid. I, I, how many repair parts do I have? Eight. Okay. Patrol mode. And activate the shields. Yeah. Lost some items, but that's fine enough. And we'll start the security panel as well. Okay. Easy. <laughs> it's freaking sweet. 